What's up guys, welcome back to Capture by Shan 17 and welcome back to another episode of Edit with Shan and today we're going to keep it nice and simple, one image from the Google Pixel 4a which is a cell phone, um, it's my new daily driver, I've been using it for just over a week now and yeah just to see the capabilities of this phone, so this image was shot on RAW so let's hop into Lightroom, it was shot in RAW which is DNG um, but for some reason when I uploaded it to Google Drive and then downloaded it, it shows as a JPEG for some reason, but the image still looks the same and kind of retains the detail. So yeah, let's see how far we can push it. Um, as you can see here, we have, you know, the, the settings. So one, one 20th of a second, F 1.7 and ISO 81. And yeah, this was taken, you know, the pixel 4 it only has one camera. So yeah, let's get into it. So. As you can see, there's quite a bit of harsh light coming in on the face. This is my gran. Um, so there's a bit of harsh lighting on the face here. So, you know, instinctively what you do is kind of pull down the highlights. And as you can see there, it's more, you know, softer looking lights on the face now. Um, but we can adjust a bit more. We can lift the shadows and so yeah, we bring the highlights down. And, you know, first things when you're looking at a raw image, it allows more flexibility in post. So if you are a photo enthusiast you'd want to shoot in raw if you want to add a bit of your own kind of flair to the image so um, let's see how much image um, how much detail the image still retains when shooting in raw so as you can see the the wall here is quite well it's quite underexposed there's no detail there from what we can see right now but because it is a raw image if you lift the shadows all the way up to 100 you can see there's still quite a lot of detail that's kept there and you can actually count the bricks. Um, so it just shows you how much detail this image still retains. And this is a cell phone. So, you know, the Google Pixel 4 is very well known for its shot straight out of camera, the JPEG, you know, the way the computational photography works. But I think with the RAW, it doesn't do too much to it because it almost looks like the image is overexposed compared to the JPEG version. Um, so yeah, if we lift the shadows a little bit, um, just to kind of lighten this idea of the face. Um, and yeah, we can kind of just work the image a little more, lift the whites a bit, darken the blacks, to add a bit of a moodier look, a bit of, instead of adding the contrast, I mean, you can do that and get a similar look, but that kind of just makes the whole image look a little bit too crunchy, which is what you get out of the camera and JPEG anyway. So this I would say, shoot raw, and you get a image that you can then flex around a bit. So if you shoot in RAW, it basically just allows you to, you know, mold your own image in the way you want it to look. Um, so I think I'd prefer that on certain occasions if there's something that I want to, you know, make it look the way I'm envisioning it. But majority of the time, the Google Pixel 4a computational photography will be, you know, more than good enough. So we can kind of adjust, we can kind of adjust, let's, lift the shadows up a little more and bring down those whites bring down the highlights a little more and then we can sort of add a bit more vibrance and a wee bit of saturation and as you can see now a lot of detail still maintained on the face that at the beginning um, looked like it was blown out so like I mentioned, I think the raw images, it kind of comes out a bit more overexposed, but then it obviously gives you that flexibility in post versus the JPEGs, which are straight out of camera, crunchy, contrast, and full of contrast. So I think this image is nice. It looks really clean now. And also, there was no issue with, you know, the, the editing. It's not like when you brought down the highlights, it brought out some artifacts, or when you lifted up the shadows, it made it look all fuzzy and weird. Uh, again, you can go all the way up to 100. And I mean, for most people, this would look okay. But for what we're doing, I uh, wanna kind of keep it around 52. You can still kind of see, the point was just to show how much detail is still captured in the shadows on a phone. Um, so I think this is, you know, pretty nice image, nice and even now, doesn't look too over, you know, bearing or overpowering with the, the light coming in off the window. And yeah, shout out to my grand for being this, this week's subject. Um, so yeah, that's the edit. Um, you can look at what it looks like before and after, and you can kind of see that where the detail is still being kept, even here, way back in the background, versus 
there where it looks completely blown out so it just shows you how much detail um, is still being captured you can kind of see the detail over here and if you look here in the green you can still kind of get a bit of shape whereas there it looks like there's absolutely nothing so yeah I think the pixel 4a really captures a lot of dynamic range obviously Google's has probably one of the best algorithms in terms of computational photography um, as you can see in this image the before and after what it looks like and the image you still and the detail you still retain um, coming from a smartphone with a 12 megapixel sensor you know it's not the biggest sensor either and it hasn't had upgrades in a while so it just shows you how advanced the software is when looking at photography in 2020 um, but I think yeah I'm really enjoying the pixel 4a so far I'm getting you know a bit used to it now the look especially because coming from a LG where I had to do a lot of post um, editing after taking the image um, and yeah I'm basically getting uh, an image straight out of camera that's usable and you can post onto Instagram without anyone thinking hmm that looks a bit questionable so again Google Pixel for a really great phone really great camera for the price especially at $350 so be sure to hit that subscribe button for more photography content that will be coming up on the channel we have the s20 fe as well so make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one